Drugs are a major social factor that's affecting the world today. And this video is going to help educate the public on drug abuse, its statistics, the consequences, and preventions that will help stop this abuse once and for all. So the top five most abused drugs in the world are number one, <coughs> heroin, two, <coughs> crack, three, meth, four, cocaine, and five, marijuana. Today we're doing an interview with Timothy Rodrigo on his past addiction to meth. Hi, I'm Bailey. Nice to meet you, Timothy. Thank you for coming out for this interview. So I heard that you had a past addiction to uh, drugs, um, specifically meth. So I just kind of wanted to get a little bit of information, you know, kind of the psychology behind it. So if you could tell me a little bit about yourself first, uh, your age, your occupation, Two years old. I um, work at McDonald's right now. I have a bad criminal record, but I'm changing my life around for the better. That's great. So, when was your first encounter with drugs? Um, I was at a party in high school with a couple of friends. There was marijuana on the table, and I spoke my first joint with my friend Devin. That's where it all started. Great. So, when did you encounter the meth part? Um, the meth came later on in college. I believe it was at a frat party of uh -huh. the memories I have. But anyway, we went upstairs. Me and my friend Devin went to the same college. And, well, there was this girl. She was cute. So she tempted me. And we got into a relationship, right? So later on, a couple of months, she was a really bad. She was bad on drugs. Very bad. She's still bad on drugs. Well, anyways, I took my first snort of meth and kind of changed my world for the worse. But... At the time, I absolutely loved it. So you did like the way it made you feel? Yes. How did it make you feel? Like I could do about anything. Really? It relaxed me. I didn't care about anything. But I also felt like I was on top of the world. So how long did it take for you to realize that the drugs were affecting your life negatively? Well, I saw how my family started treating me and I started treating them. It was just terrible. I just saw everything just fall right in front of me. And I to make a change. And what did you do to overcome that that addiction, that want? I still always have the want, but I know where my life is now is way better than what it was. I change into rehab. I still go. I still intend to make sure I don't have a relapse or anything of the sort. Perfect. Well, I appreciate your time, Timothy. Thank you very much. That concludes our interview. Okay, go. So big social factors that come into play with drugs is that social media glamorizes it and today we are going to be focusing in on the movies, the music, and the social media aspect of it. In particular the movie Wolf on Wall Street, the music video Coco, and the social media such as Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. On a daily basis, I consume enough drugs to sedate Manhattan, Long Island, and Queens for a month. Okay, Mr. Jordan. I take Quaaludes 10 to 15 times a day for my back pain, Adderall to stay focused, Xanax to take the edge off, pot to mellow me out, cocaine to wake me back up again, and morphine, well, because it's awesome. Morphine, thank you.
in the music video Coco, we see a lot of problematic themes going on. Um, like the cover, we see a heart made of cocaine surrounding the word Coco. And then in some of the other beginning pieces, um, we see a guy rolling up a joint. There's a gun on the table inciting violence. There is two men at a table with a big mound of cocaine. There's a guy cutting cocaine. So these are all problematic things that um, appeal to this negative advertising on music. The third aspect that we looked at for the negative advertising was social media, and we looked at Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr in particular. And these uh, pictures kind of show you what's going on with the negative advertising. There's a joint, there's a psychedelic pill, there's crack, um, smoke, someone talking about 420, so these are all um, negative advertising pieces. Drugs that men are more likely to do drugs than women. The age is right from 18 to 25. That's more likely to do drugs. Economic drugs cost about $193 billion a year. So some of you drug addicts out there, lend me some of this money, please. Thank you. Okay, these are the consequences of drugs. They incite crime and violence and also put people prone to certain illnesses such as death, cancer, and infections. And they also cause a lot of psychological problems such as depression, paranoia, aggressiveness, and loss of self-control. So the most abused drug is actually heroin and it has 9.2 million users and 23% of those who actually use it become addicted. It is also the drug that has the most health risks and number of deaths counted. There are many addiction prevention strategies. Some of them include resisting social pressures to try drugs, strengthening your self-esteem, managing stress and anxiety, improving your decision-making and communication skills. Some other improvements include restricting those advertising and marketing themes that show addictive substances. If you or somebody that you know is struggling from a drug addiction, please call the Drug-Free Hotline, 1-800-420-9064.